All right, good everyone. Um, so you are welcoming all to this class. Remember, the first thing that is very important you should do now is ensure you have subscribed to this channel. It's very important. As our situation is increasing, we'll have the energy to do more videos. Please ensure you have subscribed to this channel and don't skip any part of this video. Also, turn on our notification bell so that you'll be receiving exciting videos from us. So, today we are going to be looking at a very important aspect of chemistry, which is a uh, specific rotation in stereochemistry. And remember, we have what we call isomerism, which is a phenomenon in which the compound having the same molecular formula with different structures. And this isomerism can either be structural isomerism or stereo isomerism. Now, structural isomerism can be positional isomerism. Uh, straight or branching isomerism, functional group isomerism, and so on. We also have stereo isomerism, which can either be geometric isomerism or optical isomers. Now, from optical isomers, we said there are compounds that have similar chemical and physical properties, and um, they always differ or mainly differ in a way in which they rotate with plane polarized right. Now, this rotation they do makes how do we calculate the specific rotation of that? Now, a sterilized man can either be dead through or dead through uh, rotation. And we um, said most of them are can be optically active if they are chiral. What do you mean by they are chiral? They have a chiral center, which are mainly carbon. Carity is the ability of the compound to exist in the left hand side or the right hand side. And we said two compounds that are mirror image of each other, they are called enantiomers. And two compounds that are not mirror image of each other, they are called uh, diastereomers. So please take note of that. Now let's say we have a question of a compound that gives an observed rotation. Now look at the formula we have here. Now everything you have here, we call it specific rotation. If you do know specific rotation, then 100 is 100. This Alpha means observed rotation. Okay? Now, M is the department, and C is uh, the correlation. Now, the length is in decimeter, then the correlation is in grams per 100 cm cube. Please take note of that, it's very important. So, what are we going to do here? We are going to for convert for this first person we have. We said if our observed rotation is this, part length is this, but this one is CM, we're going to convert to DN. Then, this one is grams per dm cube, we are going to go back to grams per 100 cm cube. Then, what is the specific rotation? What is the specific rotation? So, we are going to do this. Now, the length will be 27 over. Now, how do you convert from conversion from centimeters to decimeter? You have to divide it by 10. Multiply it by 10. Because 10 centimeter will give us 1 decimeter. So this is going to give us 2.7 decimeter, which we are going to have. Now the concentration is in 2.7 grams per dm cube. Now to convert this to grams per 100 cm cube, you divide it by 10 as well. We will have 2.7 over 10. It will now be in grams per 100 cm cube. So that will give us 0.27 grams per 100 cm cube. So, just to, if you want to convert from grams per dm cube to grams per 100 cm cube, you divide by 10. Now, how actually is that done? Look at how it's done. 1 dm cube is as 1000 cm cube. Is it good or that? It's as 1000 cm cube. And we are looking for 100. Okay, it's not going to use dm cube now, but just if we have 2.7 grams per 1000 cm cube. Because 1 dm cube is as 1000 cm cube. So you divide both sides by 10. Divide side by 10, it's on the group. Divide side by 10, we're going to 0.27 grams per 100 cm cube. That's how it's going to work. So you have to go back from dm cube to grams per 100 cm cube. Just divide it by 10. So you're going to have the correct answer. Without working out this, how we uh, run that work. So our very rotation will not be equal to, our very rotation will not be equal to 100. Times of that rotation is 2.7 over the uh, pattern, which is 2.7 divided 
then times 0.27. So we're going to have all this, we cancel this. 100 divided by 0.27, that can give us 10,027. So from your cash calculator, from your cash calculator, we're going to have 100. So I think we're very fast, we're going to have 100 over, that is divided by 0.27. So what I'm having is theory 70.4 degree. That's what I'm having there. Theory 70.4 degree. Please ensure you know how to convert from grams per dmq to grams per 100 cmq. That is very important. And so I show you know how to convert this to the same time. Now let's go another question. Let's see another question too. Let's go this too. Now calculate. Okay, now let's let me detail this so that you write it down. Let me detail this so that you write it down. Now calculate the specific rotation of glucose. Calculate the specific rotation of glucose is C6 H12 O6. Glucose having a concentration, having a concentration of 0.3 mole per thing key formula right write this way we write it as condition equal to 0 0.3 mole per dm cube so write down anyone you like you write it down then we part length the part length the part length of 10 centimeters the part length of 10 centimeters Perfect 10 centimeters. If the observed rotation, if the observed rotation, if the observed rotation is 3.2 degree, if the observed rotation is 3.2 degree. So let's look at this. If this is the molecular formula of the glucose and this is the rotation, that is this, this and this are the same. They are, they are molecular rotation. And this is the path length and this is the organization will be the specific rotation. Now, the problem here is that our length should be in dn, that is about 10, and we must one decimeter. Now it's already very true with that. Very true with that. The next thing is our concentration. Our concentration should be in grams per 100 cmq, not go per day. So what do we do? The first thing we're going to do there, we are going to convert. That concentration to grams per dm cube. That's the first thing. Now, our concentration in in grams per dm cube is equals to the concentration in mole per dm cube times molar mass. Times molar mass. That's how we convert that. We we'll convert from mole per dm cube to grams per dm cube. So you multiply it by the molar mass of the substance. So what is the molar mass of that glucose? So the molar mass should be, the molar mass will be C6. Okay. What is the molar mass of uh, uh, carbon? So you should have this inside the process, you should have something like this. C to be equal to 12, H to be equal to 1, then O to be equal to 16. That means that inside the process that should be part of the question. So all part of the uh, Things given the question, so we will have six carbon there, that is six times the molar mass in twelve plus we have twelve oxygen, twelve times the molar mass is one plus we have six oxygen, six times the molar mass which is sixteen. So we solve this. Let's see what we have. This so is what we have. We have six times twelve plus twelve times one plus six times sixteen. So I'm having one eighteen. And the unit is grams per mole. Grams per mole. So the concentration in grams per dm cube will now be equal to 0 0.3 times 180. So 0 0.3 times 180, what I'm going to have? I'm going to have 0 0.3 times 180. That's 180. 0 0.3 times 180. You have 54 grams per dm cube. You need to have grams per dm cube. Now, or the concentration can also be now divide this one by 10. 
Divide into four by ten, we have five point four brown square hundred cm cube. That's the calculation plus CB. Remember the one we use is the one that's a hundred by hundred cm cube. So, so we are going to use this one. So, if you do this to the formula, the rotation will be will be hundred times the Zan rotation, which is three point two over. One, which is the, uh, the length, that is 5.4, which is the uh, concentration. So if you solve that with your cash calculator, you will have 100 times 3.2 divided by 1 times 5.4. So what about we have only 59.25. Only two C's. That's what I'm having as the specific rotation on this end. Substance. So lastly, last question for me. Let's see. Okay, let's see. We have these parameters. Let's see. We have these parameters. Parameters. We have the question. Let's solve any question. Let's see. We have these four parameters. Okay. Let's see. Uh, specific rotation. Specific rotation. Specific rotation. Rotation equal to three ninety five degree. Then observe rotation. Observe rotation equal to 1.7 degree. As the observe rotation in the question. We are going to the question about the question. Let's say we have the substance, we have this rotation, we have this observed rotation. Then part length is equal to 18 millimeters. 18 millimeters. Then therefore, what will be the concentration of this substance? What will be the concentration of the substance? So, this is another question in which we are looking for concentration. That's what we are looking for. So, how are we going to do that? How are we going to do that? So, let's try and see what we can do here. So, what we have here is now converting this to decimeter, and I'm looking for millimeter to decimeters. So, we are going to have 18 over 100 that was 0 0.18 decimeter. That's what we are going to have 0.18 decimeter. So, we are going to use, we are going to use this formula. Oh, so, this rotation is equal to 100 alpha all over x. So, the specific rotation is 395 already. Then, 100 times, where is our alpha there? Our alpha is what? 1.7 over, then, where is our d, where is our length? 0 0.18 times our c. Times our c. So, the next thing, I'm going to multiply this with this. So 18 times 395, what do you have? So 0.18 times 395, what do you have? So this times this, you will have 71.1. C times this as one point one will be C. Because this one times this, you will have 170. So divide by 71.1, and this is 71.1. You can also use our C will be 71.1 times 170. Divided by 71.1. What we have? 170 divided by 71.1. So I'm having 22.9 degrees. I'm having 22.39. Now, and the unit is gram. Remember, the unit we are using for circumcision is grams per 100 cm cube. So the unit should be in gram per 100 cm cube. That will be the unit. The next, let's this will be the answer. Let us do the unit of the concentration. We want it in grams per 10 q. So what you have to do, you have to multiply both sides with 100. So that we have 1,000 cm q here. So if you multiply both sides with 2, you have to multiply both sides with 10. Multiply them with 10, you have 1,000. Multiply the both sides with 10, you have 1,000. So it will be 1,000 cm q, which is 1 10 q. So if you multiply them with 10, you have 23.9. Then grams per GMQ or 1000 cm because 1000 cm will give you 1 GMQ. So please take note of that, it's very, very important. So if you want to convert from grams per GMQ to grams per 100 CMQ, you divide it by 10. Then if you want to convert from grams per 100 CMQ to grams per GMQ, you now multiply by 10. So that's how it is done. So, Apply other questions and other other conversions 
in this uh, uh, topic and ensure you practice, practice, practice. God bless you all.